All right, I just recorded a video that um, during my first siege uh, defense, um, even within uh, over 300 hours I put into this game, I have yet to do any siege defense. And I just wanted to record this to see how well I can do on Legendary um, versus the Vampire Coast. And this is a sediment garrison on Ego Gate. You can see which I'm just looking here um, what units I have on the garrison and what units they have um, on the attacker and see what is their dangerous unit and what units I have that I can use against them. So that's what it's all about when it comes to sieging, uh, attacking, and defense. You want to know which units is best for uh, that. Mostly the on the attacking side, the Asura My follows straight. Is needed. You don't need is much of uh, knowing a strong leader is needed. which unit is going to be attacked. Uh, just several phases um, you want to do on it when you're on attacker side. I'll explain that uh, when I have like a good siege attack uh, video. Uh, but with the defense, this is my first time, so I believe it's all about which units you're gonna have um, that gonna go against when it comes to defending uh, which side. It all depends where uh, they're coming from. Um, I'm gonna use my white lines of Christ against the infantry. Um, archers against any units they have that uh, just to outrange them uh, most great thing about their their missile units are they pretty strong on their missile strength however they got a short range uh, which we can use that in our advantage looking for their artilleries uh, those can be the normal one you I want to take them out as quickly as possible if I can and I've already planned that I'm going to use my cavalry to take them out. So here I'm just looking at here uh, to see uh, how this is going to go. Um, put my noble here because I'm not going to uh, have the noble to attack, to defend uh, any near area. I just need at least a, another unit uh, nearby the artillery. I'm going to have my artillery at the uh, town square just attack, uh, supporting my left and right uh, side. Another thing you as I mentioned uh, deciding where you want to place your units I decided to go both way so half of my units is going to go on my left side another half of my units is going to be on my right hand side. It uh, depends on which uh, which need is more important. You'll see in a moment. I was worried about uh, placing my artillery right there. That it would be a good spot. However, uh, this little tower right there in front of it may um, be some issue in uh, line of sight. So I was deciding and just give it a shot. Focus on the um, multi shot, uh, multiple shot uh, to target against. Um, infantry will be much better than uh, focusing on a large unit because I do not want to focus fire when there's a chance that it will miss so once they enter the town well not the town but like inside within the gate I uh, would you switch into anti-large um, missile As you would notice that this is a voiceover that I uh, recorded later on. I thought I had my mic on at that time. It seemed like it wasn't recording the uh, mic um, when I first recorded this video. So bear with me with that. Yeah, I'm just checking to see um, if I would like to target uh, the large unit. Get those are the ones more going to be threatening is the um, anime hawks and the Prometheans. It will be done. It will be done.
you all check on their uh, not only uh, this is my like I said this is my first time going against Vampire Coast and especially uh, with their units uh, animated Hawk I'm not if I don't have like an archer base on me I have to worry about going toe to toe with them and you know, just checking out to what they have that may place the advantage on for me uh, I want to look into the animated hawk and see how they look. They look so awesome, uh, very detailed. These dressers, and I love, I love about them because like they do strike fear in a man if I were going against there. <laughs> um, I'm assuming this is a gunnery mob. Not really. I, I don't know if it were. I wasn't paying attention to which name was this. I know this is the depth guard. Uh, these are very dangerous units. However, I have no. Uh, worry about them because I will um, use my archers to uh, take them out and uh, come made the artillery down. Uh, also, another problem I would use my cavalry to take them out. Uh, you'll see in a moment in the Prometheans. I thought these are range units as well because I saw that, <laughs> that shell, <laughs> a blast door here mixed with King, uh, Kingler. And I just like, oh my goodness, is, this is ranging it. And then I was looking and uh, see if they have such detail on these models. Look at the inside of their mouth, it's so awesome. And I was like, let me, let's see what else they have. You know, like, these detail, how they put the barnacles. And look at the depth in that hole in there. You can see the inside of the shell. Another kind of day that you are uh, also gonna take care of. And then we got the, if I'm not mistaken, it's the Death Dropper. Um, another range unit. Uh, don't, I don't, not really worry about that. I'm not gonna really have my towers focused on that either, because I'm pretty sure they'll miss. However, like, it's just two, I would say three units that's concerning. One is the artillery, two is the rod team. Uh, rod from Mikian, and the third one is the animated hawk. As you can see, I'm planning my um, strategy to take out the uh, cannonade. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, cannonade. First, I was just starting. Maybe I just divide, divide them, and let them um, come in. Wait for it. Assar Noble! Assar Noble! Thank God. Trying to rearrange my, uh, God. my melee infantry and my missile units. Determine where I want them to be placed in so that way I can use them to focus fire. I was pr um, practicing how to like expand these formation on on the wall is really when it comes to like actually strategizing As it, every little thing makes a difference. As you say As you can see I make them wider so they can have like uh, be able to have access to trying to shoot them down. Uh, any unit do not want my units to be on the right hand side facing the other way they will just look at the other way I uh, don't believe that they will try no. to focus they will Acknowledge. be in a view of where I'm trying to have them focus on Archers. then I put them in the middle as my regular archers with little armors because uh, this that thing those little uh, decoration that people think it is, those actually protect your, your archers. It does to give bonus uh, protecting. Uh, the only way to uh, hit it down is that they put the damage to your wall. I've done this several times. I'll show you in a uh, siege attack um, where it is possible to do so, and it's very helpful because like it. Uh, um, it's not really 100% necessary, but like it will help. Like if you worry about uh, wasting your ammo. 
This is a good uh, place to have your archer to have viewing both ways, which is the f um, forward and then uh, to the right hand side of the of the wall. I placed this units as well. Um, should have rearranged that as well. Just making sure what I'm using uh, against them. As a, using my regular archers again to get be defended by uh, the middle wall. Most likely you just want to have your archers on the wall. Without fail. Um, especially when they have good uh, it will be done. range. Loyal. Organizing here to see, make sure like to to uh, get a quick, how would you say, quick access, I would say. Quick selection. Either way, uh, quick I say quick uh, access to your units so that way like if I'm I'm getting uh, a notification on the right hand done. side I'll go I'll click it on my group done. 2 I'll get a quick uh, notification on my left hand side being overrun and stuff like that I'll quick I'll click on number 1 White Lions White Lions So my, uh, my melee infantry to be one front of the gate and the other one won't be like around uh, nearby so that way they can find them as well lions. white for lions duty. for duty if these were archer I'll be a little bit in worry because they could arc their white lions. arrows um, white lions. over the wall but since these they use this gun you don't have to worry about that. It's not gonna arc. You know your missile, uh, your melee units will be Silver safe behind helms. the wall. White lions. White lions. You must understand that monster infantry. Uh, I would not say monster infantry, just monster itself would not be able to climb the wall, such as uh, the Prometheans and uh, animated hawks. It shall be done. White lions. Silver White hell. lions. And the only reason why I say Silver like helms. not all is because I don't know for sure like if all monster infantry are the same. It may be a unit that's with an exception to, you know. Climb walls and stuff like that. Put the um, missile units to Silver take Helm. off the skirmish mode. You do not want Silver them to. Helm. All depends Eagle if you know Loyal. that you. Eagle call. You confidence with your archers that to stay their ground and not to run from safety. And you can do that. Right. So I used the, uh, the benefit for my towers to make sure that I select which one I want to take out to prioritize. So yeah, I'm focusing. I want to focus on the. Um, I see. I was checking uh, to see if I could attack this and see how much damage it does. As you can see, as I feared, it missed completely, and I do not Gate want God. to waste them uh, if they start. Um, Gate God. Uh, moving in now. This world was wondering, like, I was wondering, like, why the right side, the right side, but not moving, and I didn't realize. Well, you see, I'm gonna take out the death guards because they are gonna be dangerous when they uh, climb up the wall. Eagle claw. Now, so, as you see, the right on the right hand side, that uh, these units have yet to move, and I was like, oh, free kill for me. Now and then I realized that they were destroying the gate. I was like, yeah, that is awesome. And it took me a short amount of time, which shows that how powerful that grenade uh, uh, is so strong. Now, this
was my first time using like, Eagle. I didn't realize that you used uh, Eagle as a air support. <laughs> Um, and I also didn't realize that they, they don't automatically attack, so keep in mind that when you're about to use it, you have to automatically attack. You need to uh, import their attack. See, I didn't pay attention, and I just started to go. So I'm going to use the Eagle to uh, disrupt their uh, shoot the targets. Doing massive damage here. What about my left hand side? Uh, my left hand side. White lion. Still shooting in. White lion. And when came in, now I'm gonna use the um, artillery to target done. down with my anti-large missile. White lion. Now my white lion is not gonna Orders last understood. against these Prometheans. However, uh, with the armor piercing. Uh, Bonus that I have with it is going to do some damage. Now I knew that I just needed one cavalry just to take them out. As you see, that one artillery had been uh, taken out. Now I did say a unit had been wiped out, and that does concern me every time I see that. But I come to the realization that it is just the ego that's been taken out. Archers. Now it's better to use the archers to take out the uh, the drop decker. I, I keep forgetting the name. I need to learn these names. But I'll get used to it. Loyal, forward. Without forward. Without take advantage. Don't don't just let um let them focus on the one that's already dying because once they're starting to have low leadership and their health is already uh, going down they'll start crumbling and sooner or later they will disintegrate now on my right hand side that is it is um, being taken care of it's uh, doing a lot of damage on my right hand And if my siege, if my artillery is uh, doing more damage than uh, to my units, then so be it. They're sacrificial to to cost me. We're trying to win this battle and the war. Got to remember these are just a garrison. Uh, they will be punished on his own. However, if there was a following attack to it, and then they would have been I didn't realize my artillery didn't have a, a good range of sight, so I see my artillery is like down there, and I, that was annoying. I should keep track on that. And like everything, like you have to be on um, point with these. Pay attention to uh, what's going on in the battlefield. See, they did a, a lot of huge damage on here. We advance. You see, there are these rock permit. Um, Corinthians are being are crumbling. Uh, I showed it too quick, so I didn't uh, highlight it on it. And now we can just focus down on the Lord. As you can see, that I didn't pay attention to my ego and not focus. But you can tell they're crumbling because not, when you highlight on their name, uh, it shows some red uh, crumbling. I'm not going to say that uh, siege defense are easy because uh, vampire coasts are easy when it comes to like uh, what you just need to destroy their leadership and they'll start crumbling on their own like you know that they have a huge disadvantage. Won that battle for what a heroic victory. Lost 254 men and well they lost all of them. What I love about uh, when they earn defeat they lose, they lose them all. You see that uh, my archers done most of the damage. Um, my white lines of grace have not. I wasn't expecting much. I was just uh, thinking they would just hold the line. I'd rather have spearmen than them, but in this case, it was like they were really helpful. The noble could have helped if, uh, since he is uh, anti-large as well. Uh, I didn't realize that one of my uh, Noble was uh, wasn't an anti-large, and the reason why is because he was on a 
ego and I just it was just funny because like I like to use my noble to go against the large units but I didn't realize if you put on my ego it'll take off that bonus so keep in mind to see what pay attention to that but then again these are just garrison units so like learn learn your units learn the enemy units learn the environments and see they what can you come up with they must die always protect your flanks subjugate them take them captive take them captive uh, there's no point of trying to replenish so like i might as well just my like prowess is needed. this is a fight that is my prowess you know is for sure that you're gonna lose based on the army and the reason why like there's there's some times you can win that odds however this one i knew i could lose that because one based on leadership uh issue so like let's say if i could still like Protect kill so many of them then is, my leadership won't handle those terrors and fear but other than that um that's it for the siege defense uh battle versus the empire coast um, and I'll do another video of that when I'm attacking this uh, as a as a siege um, battle. Oh, and until then, see you next time.